Sketch Pet Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about the two lists that came out. What not to do on the first date. I can't believe this is actually going this far, but we'll be back, man. Who raised you? Crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I yeah, can't I understand it neither. I'm just ahead of it. All right, Yammy, we back, man. Hey man, listen. We're already at ten thousand five hundred and twelve, I believe, subscribers. So let's keep it going, people. Also, man, YouTube has still got us down. I don't know. I believe after 45 days, we're going to be kicked out of the partner program. I read that last night. Uh, I don't know what's going on with YouTube as far as like us being uh, monetized. We are monetized, but for some reason we can't. It's just saying that we can't accept super chats and all this good stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to keep this train running, though. You know what I'm saying? That's just what we're going to do. And that's just the bottom line until YouTube fix it. If YouTube don't fix it, hey, we just gonna keep this train running. So, so we gonna get into these lists, man. So we got a guy list and a girl list. I'm gonna start out with the girl list first of places not to take somebody on the first date. Said 30, 30, uh, a, a list of 30 places they refuse to go on a first date. That's what that is. So, so let's start with the first one. And matter of fact, let's let's start with the thirtieth one because I don't want to start with the first. So let's go with the thirty. So we gonna we gonna brief we gonna go through this as fast as possible. We are gonna give our brief take. And we ain't gonna take long because we got two lists to get through. Both of them. So this is sixty Johns. So we are gonna go through the first one. So the so the thirty uh, number thirty is food truck. What you think? On the first date, a food truck. Yeah, man. Look, um, I honestly, you know, what I mean, I've seen people do first dates with a food truck. You know what I'm saying? And I have not seen it become a big issue of food truck dates until now. You mm. know what I'm saying? I know, I, I know people that that go out on dates on a frequent basis, and they always go to like food trucks certain food trucks because they got some banging food yeah. so i don't know man i'm i'm kind of on the fence with that um well okay so for me i i have to agree with you on that because there are there are if you take somebody to just a food truck a regular food truck no hell no but they yeah. eat there they let's say for instance there was a place in this there's, there's a I don't know something going on in Atlantic City, and they have a food truck uh, convention. Mm -hmm. right. that, that's to me, that's a great date. You can Facts. go try out different foods from different food trucks. So that's some bullshit. So that one right there, I'm going. I'm going to say, yeah, we, we you going? We, we're going to a food truck uh, date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's the yeah, same. they they have um they have like a food truck festival around my way yeah. every year. You know what I'm saying? They about to have one again, like coming up before it gets too cold. So it's like, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> that that's kind of shaky. I, I I definitely will have to say that's a that's a uh, name for me. I, I I food truck dates be kind of banging. All right, well, we gonna try to go through these yeah. joints fast. So because yeah, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna try to stay, stay long on or whatever. Uh, mom and pop restaurants. Mom and pop restaurants. Hmm. It's like it's like a restaurant that basically is not a chain restaurant. So it could be it could be it could be uh oh I don't know something that something that is not a chain restaurant. 
like a s Italian restaurant that only is only sits one place and that's it. Now I might I might have to disagree on that one too. Like if if that's the case, because you know how many mom and pop restaurants we got in South Jersey, we got some we got some cool spots that you could really take to somebody take somebody out on a date and uh and really, you know what I'm saying, show them a good time. There's a there's a joint not too far from where I live at. This is another reason why I say not too far where I live at. The uh and it's not a chain restaurant. We went there before we seen it. It's like two of them joints. Right across the street from one another. And they got slamming food. So it's like the Mexican joints. So yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. That that one might have to uh might have to go south too. No, I I I ain't, I ain't with that one. Yeah, um, I disagree with that. Thing. When they talk about mom and pops, they have to define mom and pop restaurants. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as far as my, I'm concerned, some of the Mexican restaurants I go to is like mom and pop restaurants. So you gonna say no to that? No, I don't think so. So, mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. next one is number twenty eight sporting events. Whoa, that's definitely a flagrant. No, no. You can't have sporting events on here. What? Come yeah. on now. They so, you so, so, so they're saying that their first date, they won't go to a sporting event. So if I say to you, um, you want to go to this NBA game, let me take you to this NBA game. You're going to say no? As a first date, I'm taking you to an NBA game. What if I got courtside seats? Or what if you in the skybox? Or what if you sitting right next to uh, one of the players, you know? Like, you could be sitting next to LeBron James, Russ Westbrook, or somebody. Like, I don't know. So, nah, man, that, that right there. So, that's that's uh, that's four we disagree with so far. We Three we disagree with so far. Waffle House. Number Waffle 27. House. That's a tough one. Um, I don't know, man. I'm kind of on the fence with it, too, because uh, I've been to a Waffle House before. I've been to a Waffle House date, actually, and the food was great. <laughs> so, um, but no, it's know. not it's not that it's not that you've been. It's like this. They're saying they're saying for a first date for a female is saying that. No, she's not doing that. So you so you basically saying no. I've been to a Waffle House date with a female and she enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like I've 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 been to a Waffle House date before and she enjoyed it. In fact, it was her idea. She was like, yo, I know this cool Waffle House spot. I love it there. Let's go there. Let's go there and have our first date. That's what she told me. And I was mm -hmm. like, it's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? I paid for everything, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Like we went there and the food was great. It it was actually my first time at a Waffle House. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, man. I don't know, nah, man. Whoever written this list, man, was not bro, we got to get through this list, bro, because you just going on and on. I'm trying to get through this job uh, fast. You got, uh, you got all right, go ahead. A couple of more to go to. Like, <laughs> Go ahead. Go Look, ahead. My bad. My bad. No, okay. All right. So, for me, um, I'll pass on the Waffle House. I mean, unless we're doing breakfast, I'll pass on that. So, I can agree with that one, that one. I'm not going to take you on a date, first date on the Waffle House. Uh, twenty six. Uh, a, uh, a bar for juke for drinks. I, 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 I'm thinking they're saying a bar, like a bar for drinks, like a bar. Yeah. Uh, nah. That's too. Um, mm -mm. So, no, all right. No. So, I'm on the fence with that one. A bar taking a chick to a bar for a drink. That could be a first date. For me, because there's a lot of nice bars, but I don't know. Maybe they're looking at it from a different angle. So let's go to yeah, that. That's that's too casual for me. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Next yeah. one. Hookah bar. <laughs> nah. Uh, I, again, I, I don't see nothing wrong with taking a, a chick on a first date to a hookah bar. I don't smoke hookah, but. To take a chick to a hookah bar, I, I think that that's cat. 
Because if you tell a chick you taking her to a hookah bar and she smoke, she going. She going. You know what I'm saying? A lounge? Yeah, definitely. But you said no. All right. 24 yeah. night, nightclubs. So like clubs. Depends on the nightclub. Depends on it. You know what I mean? They have they have all types of nightclubs, so it depends on what type of club. You're not just gonna go to any type of club. You know what I'm saying? It could be one of them uh dance dance clubs. You know what I mean? Like Cuba Libre or something like that. That's a banger first date. So they got they got elaborate more on that. Well, I'm guessing they're eliminating all nightclubs. That's what I'm thinking. But as far as uh as far as uh nightclubs for me, um. I went on a, I went on a date in Colombia to this club. It's called the 51 uh Sky uh what's it called Sky Bar. And it was a club. Mm-hmm. And it was a bunch of people up in there on the first date. So I disagree with mm-hmm. that one. Um mm-hmm. bowling. Yeah. Uh definitely would like a first date bowling. That nah. First date bowling is the official. You said you said yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. Going to the, the going to bowling is a great first date. Facts. I don't understand what they talking about. That's a great first date. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, something that requires a long drive. I don't know what the fuck that means. That's number. That's number. Um, somewhere that requires a long drive. That's number twenty two. So basically, if I wanted to take you to uh, Sesame Place or something, I I don't know, I'm just throwing something out there, or no, if not Sesame Place, I meant to say Hershey Park. I wanted to take you to Hershey Park, and it takes two hours to get there. Or Great Adventure, it may take you an hour and a half to get there, two hours. What's what's a long a long ride? Like, what what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? That's the question I have. They got. Yeah, they have to elaborate more. Long ride could be anything. You could go a long ride and go one, go to one of them drive-in movie theaters or something. That's a, that's a, that's a distance away. So um, a long ride could be anything over forty-five minutes. Yeah, so, I disagree with that one. Movie night, Netflix, Hulu, etc. So basically, saying come to my house and watch a movie. What's wrong with that? As a first date. Well, oh, all right. So as a first date, probably, probably not. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because uh, that. that's, yeah, that that's kind of like you know after we already known each other for a minute, and then you know, nah, yeah, first date, no. Yeah, I agree with them on that one. Nah, I'm not. I'm not really ha- trying to have you at my house on the first date. You know what I mean? Family functions. Uh, on the first date, a family function, like like if the family's having a family reunion. Nah, not yet. I, I in order for me to bring them to a family function, I would have had to have been been around them for some time, like I say, six months to a year. You know what I mean? For me to go do that, because that means now that I I trust you around my folks. So now I'm going to bring you around to introduce you to them. So, no. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm not. I'm not doing. Uh, you ain't coming around my family. You know what I mean, I'm glad you put that on the list. <laughs> Ice cream date. That's number twenty nineteen. Number nineteen. Ice cream date. It could be fun, you know. Um. I mean, it depends. It depends, you know. Like that one right there, kind of depends on the person that you with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. those could be fun. The ice cream date could be fun. But oh. is it really a date though? Like, if you ask somebody, "Hey, you wanna go get some ice cream?" That's not a date. Yeah, that's yeah. It's really not mm-hmm. a date. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if I ask a chick to go get some ice cream with me, that's not a date. A date is that's not a date. I don't. I, that's not a date. That's just. I mean, it, it, yeah, it, it it depends on the person, you know. I I've went on, uh, well, I mean, was it really? 
You're right, man. Let's let's move on. But yeah, it's, yeah. It's I've never been on no ice cream date. I've been on yeah. uh, went to get some ice cream, but a date. Like, what are we yeah. doing? Sitting there? No, I disagree with that one. Mm-hmm. Coffee date. That's the same thing. Coffee. Yeah, it's coffee. Just... Coffee is something a bit different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'll explain that at the end. Starbucks. I don't know why they got coffee date than Starbucks on here too. It's the yeah, same. Yeah, it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? No so going to, so church. First of all, nobody's fucking taking nobody to church for a date. Let's get that out the way. Nah, that's not. I don't know that's why they first broke date. that. That's cat. That's not. Yeah, that's not first date. That's more or less. That's that. That's going back to what I said earlier. That's more or less like I know you. We've been around each other for some time. Now I'm introducing you to my spiritual life. Yes, come to church with me. Nah, um, nah. I don't think consider that first date. No. Number fifteen. The gym. Cap. Nobody's cap. going to the gym for a first date. That's cap. That's super cap. Who's going to the gym for yeah. a first date? Like who? Nobody. What guy asks a girl to take? Let me take you to the gym for the first date. What guy does that? <laughs> unless, unless he's the trainer. <laughs> but the trainer. But even with the trainer, that's not a date, though. How's that a date? Yeah. Like, like. Yeah, if he's a trainer, yeah. But he ain't saying, yo, listen, I'm going to take you to the gym. Let's go on a date at the gym. <laughs> what? Come on, yeah. bro. That's cat. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yo. So, look. I'm just going to... Number, number, number 14 and 13 is the same shit. It's the same shit as uh, the Waffle House. Denny's and IHOP. It's the same shit as the Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like no different. They sell sell breakfast. So I'm skipping that. Red Lobster is number no, actually a buffet. That's number uh twelve. A buffet. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the buffet. They got some. They got some upper class buffets out there that sells. That got some real good food. You know what I mean. So it depends on the buffet. On um, a first date, um, that kind of depends on the person too. So I don't know. I'm on the fence with that. I don't know. And hey, listen, know. man. <clears throat> I don't know if it's still open, but the Wild Wild West in Atlantic City buffet, Virginia City. No, the Wild Wild West. I think it was in. I don't know if it's still open, but it was in Showboat back in the day. But look, you talking about Virginia City? No, it's for, the not Virginia West. City. No, it's, it's yeah. They must have changed the name or something. But mm-hmm. it's called the Wild Wild West. Anyway, listen, bro. Anywhere that have steak, ribeye steak, at a buffet, you can't complain. Ribeye and porterhouse <laughs> steak, you can't yeah. complain. You can't tell me that. First of all, all you can eat porterhouse or ribeye steak. You know how much steak, how much porterhouse, ribeye, and T-bone steak cost? It's like for a small, it's like seven dollars for like a small ounce. You know what I'm saying? Like three ounce or two ounce. I'm definitely taking a chick to a buffet as a first date. Actually, one of the chick with my favorite first date. Actually, it's crazy. But go ahead. You can say it. No. Um, like I said, it, just, it depends on the female. Like, I've went, I went on first dates with, 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 with uh, females and went to the buffet. And they enjoyed it. So, it is. Um, number 11. Red Lobster. Mm. I don't know. What? Nah, bro. You capping, bro. What? You don't know. <laughs> yes. First date? Red Lobster? Bro. Nah. Nah. Reason why I said reason why I said I don't know is because I've went to not Red Lobster so many times, bro, on dates. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm I don't not, that tells you right there that it's okay. <laughs> you went so many times on dates. Yeah. I tell you right yeah. there, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. right I'm just get, saying, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. me personally, nah. But listen, you gotta be to me. You gotta be real bougie if you say no to Red Lobster. You gotta be bougie. I'm sorry. I don't care what you call it. I don't care if you say it's a chain restaurant. If I'm taking you on the first day, I said, let's go to Red Lobster. I don't see why you would think that that's a bad thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At one point, Red Lobster used to be like the pinnacle. It used to be up there. But I guess yeah. people got to the point, like you said, you went a couple of times. I guess people got to the point where they was like, man, I'm going to this all the time. And it's not that expensive no more. Well, people don't look at it like it's that expensive. So, so I don't know, man. Yeah. The next two is X basically the same. Wild, wild wing stop and Buffalo Wild Wings. First of all, I'm not taking no girl to no wing stop for a first date. That's not happening. Buffalo Wild Wings, they have somewhere you can sit down at. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take somebody to a Buffalo Wild Wings for a first date. That's so I can agree with them on that. I can agree with them on that. What do you think? Um, I agree with you. You know, although I have, you know, um, went out with females. You know, what I'm saying that that we we went to watch sporting events. Like, um, I was uh, I went out with this one chick. You know, years ago, and um, we went to go see uh WrestleMania. And Buffalo Wild Wings. So, uh, but that, was that a first know. date though? Yeah, yeah, oh. she was a wrestling fan. You know what I mean? Okay, so, well, that was a good date. Um, yeah. Any fast food chain? No, I couldn't agree with that. I'm not taking no. You're not going. I'm not taking you to Burger King for a first date or McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. That's that's that's, that's, that's tacky that's as hell. Out of, like, come on. That's out of pocket. That's, that's out of pocket. Yeah. Straight tacky. Yeah. Your house. Isn't that- <laughs> yeah. That's just like Netflix and chill. Yeah, that's like and chill. Like, come on. That's <laughs> they 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 cheat and they trying to add stuff on here. Like, oh, I'm not yeah. going to your house for a first date. And I'm gonna explain to you that's cat too. I'm gonna explain how that's cat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I I'll get to that when we're done. The movies. That's super cat. Yeah. The facts. movies is probably the Number one dating spot. Mm-hmm. Number one. That is For a sure. universal dating thing. I don't understand yeah. how any girl could think that that they're too good to go to the movies. Mm. I but agree. That's cap. They capping on that one. I'm sorry. What you think? No, I agree with you. It's cap. It's super mm. cap. You know what I'm saying? It's super cap, yeah. So, so, so the next one, I, the, the the next one, I don't care. This is super cap to me. I don't care. People might disagree with me on this one. OG, the Olive Garden. That's cap. That's ultra cap. That's just that's that's in the same that's in the same category as a Red Lobster. That's ultra cap. Yeah, that's su- super duper duper cat. Yes, know what yes. I mean, yeah, that's definitely OG. Come on, you can't hate on the OG. OG, yeah, no, OG and Red Lobster was the pinnacle. You can't, you can't mm-hmm. hate on them. You can't just say all of a sudden now you don't want to go now when you went when you was 18, 19, 20. Like, oh, uh, yeah, all you through y'all to your younger years. Now, all of a sudden, you two go oh, eat there, no Olive Garden. Yes, you do. Yeah. You order from there during your lunch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you don't want to be seen in there? Like, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? They still got top of the line wine and all that good shit in there. Um, the next the next two, it's I'm just gonna put them together. Uh Chipotle and Chili's. Like, no. No. Nobody's taking nobody to the for first date to Chipotle or Chili's. I think that that's tacky. Now this one right yeah. here is the most controversial one, right? The most controversial mm-hmm. one because this one right here, I believe it goes along with the movies. Applebee's. Mm-hmm. If any bitch say she don't go on a first date on Applebee's, she's super capping. No, it, it's, it usually goes Applebee's the movies. <laughs> That's the first date. 
right there. That's a great date. <laughs> or 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 the other way around, movies and Applebee's. Movies and Applebee's. Mm-hmm. That's a great date. <laughs> that, 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 that goes together. Yes, it definitely does. Yeah. And the number one that women say don't take them on. Take a guess. You already know it. Factory. The Cheesecake Factory, which is super calf. <laughs> yeah, that's ultra. That is the one that, that you definitely go on the first date right cat. there. <laughs> like, what? That's ultra combo cat. Like, come on, bro. Come on. So, look, <laughs> this is the thing, right? I'm explaining this to y'all, and then we're going we gonna, to we gonna come back with part two, right? This is part one. We're going to come back with the guys, part two. This is class warfare right here. This list is class warfare. And what I mean by that is women only ask guys or put this list pointing towards guys that they don't really like like that or they're feeling out. If it's a nigga with a big dick that fucked the shit out of them, they going to Chipotle, they going to Chili's, they going to Olive Garden, they go into the gym. They go into church. They go into the family functions. They go into everything on this list. Because women do whatever a guy that they like want to do. He could go to church's chickens. They don't care. They'll go to Crown Fried with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? And eat at Crown Fried. They'll literally eat at Crown Fried. Eat that macaroni, that nasty macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Seriously, and they disgusting collard greens, and call it soul food, and talk about some. But it's it's the guys, it's the guys that, like I said, and this all stems from what just happened the other day on the date, John. It's class warfare. That's all it is. It's just the girls who the guys that they believe that they can afford a better date. They give them this list. But the niggas that they know ain't trying to really take them nowhere and they fuck the shit out of them, they take they take anything on this list. Mm-hmm. Anything. Mm-hmm. That's my take, man. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree 110%. You know, a lot of these uh a lot of these uh things on this list is is cap. They capping too hard. You know what I mean? Let, let me let me say this, right? Since when have we come to a point where that we're in competition with where we take our first dates at? Because I remember a time where where first dates were always was something that you set you set your you set your you set your you set your boundaries, you set you know how you want to perceive how you want to be perceived and all these other goals that you'll set and first dates were always a first impression and to me first dates were always somewhere not too not too fancy but not too you know what i'm saying like in the middle somewhere you 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 guys meet in the middle that's where i believe first dates used to be at now all of a sudden man we get into we get into this new era of the modern day woman and now all of a sudden we got we we got to go travel the universe going on a first date. And I don't feel like that's fair because if, if if the shoe was on the other foot, it wouldn't even be that way. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. this list is ultra cap, man. Like seriously, man, they need to chill. Hey, hey, man, Sketchpad Podcast. We'll be back with part two. Stay tuned for that. Y'all, peace.